offshore and renewable energy is going to be something that's central to our lives. There's loads of awesome tech being designed and constructed for it. Here, at the Port of Bly, different companies work on some pretty epic projects. Like working with offshore renewable wind power and laying cables under the ocean to connect the UK and Norway. I mean, how is that even possible? Giant subsea trenches, that's how. And they're all remote controlled. Let's check it out. IHC, design and build offshore pipeline equipment, which can range from the towers that take the pipeline and lay it on the seabed, and then the subsea vehicles, which can be used to plough trenches and bury the pipeline. This is a control cabin for a subsea trencher plough that lays equipment on the seabed to facilitate energy transfer. ORE Catapult, it's a renewable energy offshore company. Suppliers will send in different parts that they might want testing and we'll do it for them. At the port we've got four different areas. Sometimes it can be on like say in the warehouse, it could be on unloading ships, project cargo, bulk handling, loading trains, anything really, it's a variety of stuff. Getting these turbines built in the middle of the ocean and linking them with deep sea cables takes a lot of coordinating meaning a lot of construction roles and apprenticeships. At school it was either you go to university or you go to college, it wasn't do apprenticeships. So at college all you did was work related stuff, it was all paper based, it wasn't ever anything practical. Where this apprenticeship you get to do the practical side of it and you do get to go to college as well. When you first start off as an apprentice it isn't the best period but you have to think you're learning, you're trying to learn your trade. It all depends where you work but my wage got trebled from being an apprentice to where I am now. Prior to this I was thinking a job's a job, you know, you just do it just to, just to live really, to earn some money. But now I, I do enjoy getting up in the morning and coming to work, which I suppose that's the biggest part for me. 